Hi, I'm Ali. I'm a volunteer working with Spawn Out to do a little video on biodiversity. And I'm joined here by Avine, who is the chair of the Citizens' Assembly on Biodiversity Loss. So then what is biodiversity? Ali, you're probably better at explaining what biodiversity is than I am. It's not my field of expertise and I've been learning about it since becoming chair um, in April of the Citizens' Assembly. Um, as far as my interpretation is, biodiversity seems to be the balance of nature all around us from the smallest to the largest species that you can think of. So why did you get involved then in this kind of area of biodiversity? Um, so this wasn't by choice, although I have to say I'm really interested in it now. I was actually doing a grocery shop when I got a phone call to invite me to be chair of the Citizens Assembly on Biodiversity Loss. And the first thing I said was, I don't think you have the right person because I don't know enough about this. Um, but I was assured that the skills of the chairperson were actually to make sure that the members, the randomly chosen members, would be informed enough about the topic to make recommendations to the Oireachtas, to government. Um, and that's what I've been taking very seriously. And I'm delighted that I have an expert advisory group, specialists from around the country, um, including Northern Ireland, who are bringing their expertise to the Assembly and making sure we're getting the right people in to talk to us, that we're getting the right subject matter, and that we're getting time to consider everything. What's its purpose? So the Citizens' Assembly is a mechanism for bringing everyday people, and I mean that in the most respectful sense, bringing everyday people into policy making. So our traditional thinking around democracy is that we elect our representatives and they will make policy. However, in the last 40 years or so, we've seen other mechanisms for strengthening democracy come about and citizens' assemblies or deliberative democracy is one of those tools. The citizens' assembly as a tool of deliberative democracy is a space where conversations can happen respectfully. People are allowed to have different opinions and they will be listened to and, and they will be um, responded to. And I think that's really something that we need to be doing more of. It's, it's something we've been doing really well in Ireland. Ireland's like a shining light on citizens' assemblies because Previously, we've seen massive societal change from our citizens' assemblies on, you know, uh, marriage equality, on uh, women's health care, um, on the climate bill, gender equality is coming through now as well from the most recent citizens' assembly. And when we present our recommendations to government in December, uh, it will be up to them then to consider those recommendations. But hopefully we'll see the vast majority, if not all of them, being implemented. And then looking at kind of on an individual level in terms of not being directly involved in the citizens' assembly, is there anything else? we can do well if you're interested in the citizens assembly we would love to hear from you so our submissions are open until the end of november you just go to citizensassembly.ie press submit and um, there's a form there that you can um, fill in and um, but you don't have to have anything that's hugely long just a short paragraph couple of lines on what is important to you for biodiversity. Brilliant. And for young people in Ireland, particularly those under the age of 18, can they still be involved in this? Yeah, you can still um, submit. I think it's really important that young people are heard and that young people have their say in this. And I'm very hopeful that the recommendations will be something that young people can look at and go, great, these guys were thinking about the future. So citizensassembly.ie. Great.